to this piece by Takashi Murakami because as a high schooler, a lot of high schoolers are actually very familiar with this artist because he does a lot of pop culture work, he does albums, he does covers for books. And so I was just curious to see what you thought of his kind of neo-pop stance with his work, how that fits into the whole pop art movement. But this is pretty new and he's uh, active right now. So Murakami, he's dealing with themes of our time just as Warhol did in his time. Now if we think about Murakami, and you just mentioned that a lot of you high schoolers are familiar with him because he does everything. Shoes, purses, clothes, scarves, hats, uh, lunch boxes. I mean, there isn't a product that he hasn't done work on. And usually his images are full of these little uh, uh, toy-like images and creatures. Japan has always been fascinated with images of things. Currently, the last 40, 50 years, they have all these like cartoon characters, they have cartoon comics, cartoon characters, toys, all these things. Uh, philosophically, whether they use those characters as an escape to get away from the rigid uh, societal norms in Japan, uh, it's in contrast, I think, the, the, the playful characters that are so silly with the very formal, structured uh, society that Japan has. 